Let's see how to resize uh, image files to make them more web friendly. I'm going to show you two different ways. I'm sure there are scores and scores of ways to do this with different tools. Uh, I'll show you one way using Photoshop and another way using uh, Google's photo management system, Picasa. We'll start with Photoshop. So I have a small folder here filled with high resolution images, uh, JPEGs that um, I brought over from my external hard drive. Let's take a look inside. Let's look at them in the tile view. If you look at my, look at them in the tile view, you can it sh actually shows the pixel dimensions of these photos. They're pretty uniform. This is pretty much what my digital camera uh, gives me each time. But we've got to turn those into much smaller uh, dimensions to make them web friendly and able to transport over the web as email attachments or upload to blogs or uh, Facebook or that sort of use. Okay, so I'm, I've pulled up that folder with, um, with the images in it, the high-res images, and let's take a look. Let's pick a folder to, um, to downsize. We're going to go up here to File again, and we're going to go to this menu item right here, Save for Web, and click on it. And I'll get a little warning here that says the image exceeds the Save for Web, uh, the size Save for Web was designed for. You may experience out of memory errors and slow performance. Are you sure you want to continue? And we're going to click yes because uh, we want to resize the photo uh, so we don't have memory troubles and performance problems with our computer. Um, and we're going to use the Save for Web feature in Photoshop to do that. So uh, now I'm in the Save for Web screen and the file you can see is so huge that this is just a tiny portion of the file because the file is so huge. So I'm going to uh, bring my camera down over here to uh, the dashboard on that screen and you see over here to the right it says image size, the image size table. I'll click on that and there are the uh, dimensions. We're going to change those dimensions. I want to make the the file 480 pixels wide and you see it automatically self-adjusted um, for the height and I'm going to hit apply and it will take just a second and you'll see the resized photo it takes up quite quite a bit less real estate on the screen there it is and so I'm going to go up to um, the top of my dashboard on save for web and I'm going to hit save. <clears throat> It'll ask me what file I want to save uh, the image to so I'm going to just create a new one. I'll just put it on my desktop. I will name the new folder uh, Mule in Mining Town and uh, select it open it and we'll save the resized image to that folder. Okay, it's done. I'm now going to close the screen. I don't want to save uh, those changes to my high resolution uh, image. Uh, I'll just leave that alone. I'll say no and I'll exit Photoshop. Here's the big big folder with all the big files, and here's the new little folder we've just created with the small image in it. Uh, so let's take a look inside. Okay, let's go to Tile View and check the dimensions, and you can see the new pixel dimensions of the of the of the file. And that's good to go. That's one way of downsizing your your files. I'm going to show you a faster and free way to size down your images using a 
a tool by Google called Picasa. And it's easy to uh, find on the web. Just type Picasa. It's a photo management system that uh, that Google has, has bought. And uh, it's easy to install. We're going to open it up. Picasa is a, is a way of organizing, pulling together all your JPEGs, all your image files in one place on the screen. Picasa doesn't recopy your files, uh, and so you're not in danger of clogging up, uh, you know, overloading your system with all these new, um, all these new high-resolution images. Uh, instead, it just sort of pulls them together and puts them in this new framework that helps you organize and navigate through all the images uh, that are on your drives. Uh, there's a lot to learn in it, but uh, we're we're going to use it just to resize, and we're going to resize a whole batch, the whole folder full of high-resolution images at one time to make them web-friendly. I'm going to go over to the little search window in Picasa, and I'm just going to type in the name of the uh, the folder I created this morning on my desktop where I put all those big file big file images in, into, and it was a big image. Oh, there, I just saw it. It came right up. I'm going to click on it. And so I have I have this now pulled up at Picasa. I'm going to go back over to the toolbar, the very top, to the edge, where you see File. I'm going to um, run down to uh, this menu option right here, Export Picture to Folder. Click on it. It brings me to this screen export to folder screen. So Picasa for some reason has has organized my folder uh, big image files under this parent folder. It has its own funny way of organizing. It's like a librarian. Um, and so uh, it's going to ask me to name the new folder I'm creating and I'm I'm going to hit um, I need to give it a unique name so uh, big image for files I'll just say resize Okay, and then uh, because I have been resizing photos with Picasa at 480 pixels, it's already defaulted to that width. But you could have typed the the largest uh, the largest size in terms of pixel dimensions right here. And we're not going to worry about a watermark or anything. And I'm just going to hit export. So we're creating a subfolder, and it's going to create it's going to bring in all the uh, all the files we want to resize into it, which means all the files on that original folder. And um, I'm going to pull it over here to the side of my screen where you'll see a, an exporting bar pop up here in a second. And there it is, and it's now showing me that we're exporting those folders, uh, exporting those uh, images to the new folder and resizing them at the same time, crunching down their sizes. So it's taking a while uh, to ex export all those files over to the folder and resize them. So you can multitask here, pay bills or something. Okay, the little bar has just told me we are done exporting. So I am going to go over to the uh, folder where Picasa has stored uh, the new folder. This is the parent folder. And if you remember on the directory, uh, it said this is where the new folder was being created, the new subfolder. Um, so let's let's take a look. And here is the uh, here is the folder we created for resizing. Um, remember we gave it that name in Picasa. And so let's click on it and check our work. <clears throat> take a look at the. Uh, tile view. We'll see what the new pixel dimensions are. And there it is. They just rolled out. So we've done it correctly. So there are two ways to uh, size down your uh, photos, your, your large image files, to make them web friendly, easily transportable, uh, and easy to view and bring up on, on uh, 
other people's computer screens. So we're not making the files uh, ready for CMYK printing, or these, this is not the way to submit finished artwork to your editor uh, or uh, art director, but it is a way to, uh, to get them out and up there on the web where, uh, where people can see your artwork.